I think I remember there being a gem. Is this... That's where you use the gem. Oh, okay. So let's plug that in. Nice. Suddenly, the gem begins sending off sparks. You get the feeling that silver orbs have something to do with this. Voila! The door opens. What the heck is that? As soon as you enter the room, you're shocked to discover a floating blue creature. It seems to be some sort of guardian. You hear it hiss something about food. Well, um... You want a salami? Um... Ooh, you want a fruit? Suddenly, the strange creature's hungry eyes light up. It attacks the fruit and swallows it down with one gulp. Satisfied, the hideous creature belches and disappears. That's cool. There's a blue star painted on this door. This looks like Dr. Frankenstein's laboratory. You wonder what kind of experiments were performed in here. A heavy iron lid is set into the floor. It's a large cauldron the likes of which may have been seen in Macbeth. You wonder what could be in the wall safe. Perhaps it contains a clue to the whereabouts of your sister. Ooh, combination lock. Okay, I got this. Okay, so... Uh, where... I forget what it was. Scroll two. Gold, silver, gold, silver, and mercury. Okay. So where's the card? Okay, so gold, 79, 47, 80. 79, 47, 80. Seven, seventy-nine, eighty. Gold, silver, mercury, right? Seventy-nine, forty-seven. I is the lexic. Is the this lexic? Seventy nine and then forty seven. Okay. You did it. That was the correct combination. What's in the safe? The jar is made of an extremely hard substance. It says cookies on it. You can hear something inside when you shake it. Dude. Is it a cookie? It won't open. Well, crap. Take jar three. What do we got here? Science? Mm. It won't open. It's locked. Can I use key one again? Am I ever going to get key two? I guess I do need key two for this one. Can I cook some lunch? Shh. 
Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with that. Um... Is the saying I can go on the fire? Uh, let's... Let's see where this goes. Can't go through the door until you've opened it. Um... Oh, that's the door on the floor. Let's try a different. room is dominated by a huge telescope. Turn a few pages of the book. The language of this text is indecipherable to you. Maybe someday we'll be able to reach one of these distant points of light on this star map. The large lenses can bring your, the stars to your eyes. strange-looking rug. Let's burn it. Well, we have cookies. And cookies were kept in a safe. So, I'm thinking it must be pretty dang important. Now, the only thing that would eat a cookie around here is the Gengar. So, let's go see if we can feed him. I bet this is where we would feed him because there's that plate on the floor. So well, let's try it. Let's put the jar. Do I have to open the jar? Um, maybe I need to ask it a question. Let's open a jar with a battle axe. That sounds like a great idea. Dude, I got a cookie! The jar shattered the axe into pieces. Wow. Okay, so let's put the cookie on the plate. Nice. Set the cookie on the plate. And then here comes Gengar. Ooh, good trade. The creature finally stops running. He grabs the waiting cookie and quickly runs away. In his haste, he leaves the key which we had, which he had carried with him. Nice. I bet that's key two. Okay. Key two obtained. Trophy room. Blah blah blah. Let's go back over here. Go oh, in the door. Alright, so use key two on this. Okay, I think it's a good time to save. Now let's head down there. Ouch, with a thud you land on the floor of this cave. You'd notice that there's about five inches of tar on the ground. Gross. Um, it's too high for you to reach it. Hey, it's our buddy the spider. As soon as you step into a cave, a, a giant spider emerges from a hole in the ceiling. Poison drips from its fangs. Alright, well... Aw, oh, he's so cute. Huge spider sends chills down your spine. Its head is the same size as yours. Its body dwarfs you, however. 
Um, I think I got something to say to this guy. I don't think Spider Cider's gonna work. Let's try Stellini. He shouted Stellini as loudly as possible. The spider's movements grind to a halt. It seems to have gone to sleep. Um... So that's just a way to get out. Um... What the heck, man? The spider was asleep. Guess I woke up. Lame. You know what? I have to walk back around to the other way. Try something real quick before I go back down there. Okay, yeah. Matches. I really think you're supposed to burn this box. Huh. Clouds of smoke billow from the fireplace. Oh! The light reflects off of the star with blinding radiance. It must have been in the box. Take the star. This heavy brass star bears the inscription Fire and Ice. Well, I guess I need to put it on ice. No. No, no. Go back. I don't think they have a fridge around here, so... Maybe there's something in the cave? I remember hearing about cold air coming from a door. Maybe it's cave air. Nice. Ice. An acrid mist? Who uses the word acrid? Rises from the frozen sludge of the cave mouth. The misty tendrils form themselves into a robed human figure. I guess this is the master. He says, you've come. I've been waiting for you. Please listen to me. Long ago, I dueled with my disciple, Draken, in this place. I can find him here in the ice, but his power was too much for me. I'm now forever locked in this dimension, with only the ability to project my image into this cave. I ask a favor of you, my son. Send the sleeping draken in the ice away into the dark world. With that, the old man disappears. With a shout, you throw the brass star into the ice. Suddenly, a flaming apparition appears. Steam bursts from the ice, and it rapidly melts. The melting ice mass creates a flow of water that rushes into the next cave. The current sweeps a human figure from within the ice into the next cave. Suddenly, the old man reappears. Hurry! Before he can awake, you must eject him into the dark world. Do as I request. With that, he again disappears. The current suddenly pulls you under, and you are swept away. Sputtering, you stand up in the water and notice that you are in a very small cave. In his dark robe, the frozen fig figure begins to thaw rapidly. This has to be Draken. Uh...
Um, I guess I need to put him in the well, obviously. So he says hurry, so maybe I'm on a timer or something? Let's try to just do this really quick. No. So I can't take Draken. Maybe I can just use Draken? Blah blah blah, okay, yes, yes, that's nice. Whatever, just stop talking! I want to go use Draken and well. Right? Mon echoes for quite some time, gradually fading. Nice. It's so dark, you can't see well. <laughs> Aha, you seem to have found an exit. An ancient staircase leads you straight to a door. It won't open. Well, let's use key two, I guess. Hey, it worked. So I think I'd be back in that study room now. As you enter the room, the door slams closed behind you. You hear your sister's voice crying out. It sounds like it's coming from above you. Suddenly, the screaming stops. sister's voice. It sounds closer than before. Your sister must be on this floor somehow. As you enter the bathroom, the door slams shut behind you. Your sister's screams are definitely loud to hear. It's almost as if she were she is on top of you. It's too high for you to reach. I need to get to the ceiling. And I can't open the door. So I've got to be able to figure something out. Um, what do I got? That's soap. 
sink, mirror. Yes, I'm checking my hair while my sister's dying. Very good. Well, I can use the sink. Can't I? Yes. And I can use the bathtub. Maybe I can plug the drain. Um... Oh, that's working. Okay, we're making progress. Ooh. Okay. Still too high? Okay, I did it. It's open. Hey! Come out into the attic. It's your big sis. At last, you found her. She seems to be ignoring you. Come on, sis, you shout at her, but she doesn't move. What's wrong with her? No matter what you say, she doesn't respond. Well, <clears throat> I'm to smack it. No, that's, that's me. You slap your sister. Sis, sis, what's wrong with you, you ask? Holy crap. Suddenly, a horrible spirit comes out of your sister's body and screeches at you. The thing begins to speak in a low rattle. This little one is too weak for me. I need new blood and a stronger body. I need you. I will have you. You will join us now. horror, your sister shakes her head, gets up, and jumps out the window. Now that she's safe, it's time to deal with you, you shout at the undead nightmare. Uh... Pendant? No. Power of Jesus. Drink this, you say, as you splash the water on the spirit. The hideous creature screams in pain at the touch of the water. In an instant, the menacing apparition fades into nothingness, leaving no tangible evidence of his having been there. Nice. The window is completely destroyed. Your sister did a good job on it. You climb through the window, out onto the balcony. You are surprised that the air is so mild, in fact, a warm, pleasant breeze wafts past. A bright, warm sun begins to shine through the clouds. Then, you see your sister. Sis, sis, you're okay, you shout as you hug her. Of course I am, silly. Your sister replies, I just went into this house a couple of minutes ago. At least it seemed like a couple of minutes ago. I guess I fell asleep. Boy, what a nightmare I had. You hug your sister again, thanking heaven above that it's all over. Your sister is now herself again. You are aware of a sense of peace and triumph. It was a nightmare, wasn't it? She asks hesitantly. You see fear in her eyes. With a smile, you reply, of course it was, sis. Just a real bad dream. Let's go home, you say, as you and your sister step into a warm, golden glow of the summer sun. Mm -hmm. 